so you just took this class three times, you took the FE exam and you still failed. And at that moment, I can't even imagine what you went through. So first you're looking back, okay, I paid three times this course. So that's like, yeah. well, like, like 1,700 to 1,500 each time times three plus, you know, the NCS fee. And then you're like, okay. And then I failed. I just failed with all of yeah. this. I still failed. You know, I like, how did you go from that to I'm going to keep going and, and what really made you like invest again and in buying the morning and the afternoon course after everything that you went through? When I went actually finally took the test and I fell, but when I saw the test, I say, it's not that hard. Uh, that wasn't my first time to get, taking the test. And I was like, it's not that hard. It's just, I didn't study in the proper way. I was like, I need something more specific, something like go more in detail on the exercise. I told, I told my wife, I was talking to my wife and say, I cannot give up now because I put a lot of time. So I started studying in April 2020. Start, I was like basically from scratch. And I was like, if I pause right now, then later on in, in life, I'm going to try to, I want to do it again. I have to put all that time again. And I was like, I cannot give up. So I designed a schedule with the same PB. I was like, okay, I'm going to keep going. And then looking on the internet, I was like, I need something more specific. And I started like doing research, research, and I started seeing your videos. And I was like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a, uh, another like, uh, it's like investment. Again, I was like, I don't know. So I started watching the interviews. Um, and I see a couple of the interviews, like you say, people like me that English is the second language of people that have education from other countries where that the even though i see i see one on the interview one of the guys i think he was uh from uh, venezuela mm -hmm. i believe he was mm -hmm. uh and and he he was graduated like years ago uh and he still passed even though like english is second language venezuela they use another units because they use like kilometers and kilograms and stuff like that and i was like well yeah, English is my second language, but I grew up in Puerto Rico where my all my my whole classes were in English. The only English that I knew before I joined the army it was like uh, uh, civil engineering uh, English. I can't I can't read and understand the books, but that's it. Wow. <laughs> uh, and I was like, if he if he was able to do it, I think I can I can do it. And I was like, okay, let's go again. <laughs> And then like, the, the thing is, like, as soon as I start practicing, so I, have, I still have my uh, PPE book because the thing is, like, PPE is so huge company that you believe, like, they're right, you know, like, because they have name, they've been for years and stuff like that. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let me compare what she has in the classes. And then once I take classes with her, I'm going to try to do the problems in the book. Mm -hmm. so that's how I start my study sections. So I got your math classes and then i went to the book and it was so easy and i was like oh my god <laughs> i was like how now i'm able to do all the problems in the book like really really easy and i was like oh my god so and every time i was studying i go out uh, the room and talk to my wife and i say if i don't pass now with this review i don't think i will be able ever to pass and as soon as i was getting into it and into it, into it I, I was telling my wife i feel so good i think i think i'm gonna do better this time but yeah, that's how that's how I start. I was not trusting you a hundred percent, and I was comparing like what you have in your classes with the PPE and everything. And then by the I would say by the third subject or something like that, I just threw the book away. I'm like I don't need nothing else. I just need to get focused on this. Hey guys, so failing the FE exam can be a real blow, but it doesn't mean you have to walk away from achieving your goal. See, passing the FE exam is possible with the right resources and guidance. Sign up for my free webinar and join me tomorrow where I'll guide you through the tools and the resources that you need to get back on track and actually pass your FE exam. So save your seats by signing up at the link below. Oh yeah, everybody now.